Hello friends, in this video we will learn how to use combo edit functionality for covering these two simple scenarios. In scenario 1, account given here must be only used with a product 123409. In scenario 2, given account must be used with any product but product field must not be blank. So these kind of restriction in our journals we can check on the edit level with the help of combo edit functionality. Let's see how to do that. So let's go to setup financials. Common definition. Design chart field. Combination editing. And then go to combination definition. Here we define what is anchor chart field and what is non-anchor chart field. So say we create a combination definition ZZ test 1 test. First we have to add anchor chart field account and then product and save. Now you see account is an anchor chart field auto checked. This com this act as if then else statement. If account is this, then product should be whatever we define. Now next step is to create a combination rule. For that we need to go to setup financial, common definitions, design chart fields, combination editing, combination rule. Add a new value. ZZ underscore test1. Description. Effective date you can change as you want. Combina combination definition you can select what we have created just now. So non anchor chart field product. Now if you click value required that means it will make one check that um, value must be there irrespective of what is the value. So in our first scenario we don't check it. We will go to chart field combination for account we will provide a detailed value say this is what we have in combination this one and for product this one so this will create the combination click save next we need to create a combination group so add a new value z test 1 test combination definition we have to provide and combination rule we have to provide and just save it after that we have to add this combination group to the business unit so first we have to go to set of financial business unit related general ledger and ledger for our unit search for us001 go to general edit options first go to definition and uh, select the detailed ledger on which you want to create it so in my case i want to create on detailed ledger recording so i will go here and i will just provide the name of process group and save here you can select all transaction sources or specific transaction sources. So existing transaction sources are these one. But in our case we want it for all transaction sources. So save it. Now we need to create build combination data after that. So we need to go to set up financial common definition. Design chart field. Combination editing build combination data add a new value z test one whatever you want make it once ledger group we can select it's recording in our case build data table as of date this or i will make as of date today's date save and run
let's check process monitor now it is changed to success now we will check review combination data so go to review combination data provide the group name and click on search we can see the combination is built for this account this product should be used let's check it we will create a journal so go to general ledger journals journal entry create update journal entries for us001 add a journal provide a description go to lines select the account and uh, say in the first row we will add the account product as well the correct product uh, make it a penny journal and in the second row we will just remove the product so ideally I should get error on the second row and not on the first row so first save it and then edit the journal you can see it is in error go to left we see that error is there only in the second row if I will click here you can see combo error for edit account product so our rule is working perfectly fine so to correct this error I will mention the product and save and try to edit again so error removed journal status valid let's move back to our journal uh, combination rule and try to cover second scenario where we want that product value should be there and it can be any value so I will just check this checkbox value record save detail value or three nodes of chart field product not allowed okay first we have to uncheck it go back remove this value So basically you have to first remove that value, come to this page, check this checkbox and save. It will allow you to save. Go back and see that node value is percentage. It should be, there must be one value and it could be any value. Now we need to run build combination data again. So go to setup financials, common definition design chart field combination editing build combination data just search for the same run control ID select once everything remains same save and run again once the process will be in success we will review combination data again okay now the process is in success let's check the combination data go to review combination data provide group click search so here you can see that for account we can see the every product is now linked all the existing products are now linked with account so for this account any product will do the only condition is that there must be one product blank product won't work let's create another journal and test it copy journal now in this new journal first save it now in this new journal in one in one of the field I will keep a product in the second row 
I will delete the product. So ideally I should get an error on the second row or let's say for the testing purpose I will change the product also for the first row. I will just change it. So still I should get error only in the second row. Let's edit it. It is in error. First row is clear. Second row is in error. Click on error. Combo error for fields account product in group set set test one. So this is working perfectly fine. That's all in the video. Uh, we have explained a uh, simple scenario for combination editing. It can be more complex as well. So in future videos we will add more scenarios. If you like the video please subscribe the channel and stay connected. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.